Derek, do you know uh, yet if Dylan's going to be in tonight? Dylan's going to be a post morning skate uh, eval. He's got some testing to do and how he responded from yesterday's practice and the skate. So uh, you won't know probably until this afternoon. Um, but the positive is he's very close. Again, I don't know if it'll be tonight, but uh, he's getting real close. Other than Wallman, is anybody else not available? No, just uh, Wallman still unavailable with the lower body. Uh, a couple of those guys battling uh, a little sickness that's been going through the team uh, seem to be in a much better spot. So uh, all those guys that were in that situation the other night are available for tonight. What did it mean for Rasmussen to give you what he gave you? He was obviously feeling Awesome. He, he, you know, the Pittsburgh game too, uh, you know, you, you, you kind of keep things internal in the room, but you know, guys do things like that. He literally, he, he was averaging about two to three hours of sleep for three, four days, just battling what he was battling. But he would show up and give us a ton. I uh, tried to manage it, uh, but it's hard. We're in the middle of chasing a game and trying to win and just kept putting him out there. So really good on him, but that's that's him. Uh, he gives you everything he's got. Yesterday you talked about just the importance of mindset during this time of the year. As a coach, how do you alleviate the pressure on the players versus just sticking to the day-to-day? -day that's, that's a great question. I think you know that's what can happen in these these this time of year. Um, such an emotional roller coaster, coaster. There's some emotional fatigue there. There's obviously some physical fatigue. This time of year, guys are battling through injury. I think just narrowing the focus. Uh, you got too much going on in your head. Would love to come out and play a simple first period. The first period has been an issue for us, and you know, it could be just what you talked about. Just, just there's literally too much going on in each individual's head and in our team game. So, I mean, we rep the same. Um, they see the same clips. Now it's just a matter of executing out there. So probably just narrowing our focus tonight. With the break at uh, just during this uh, cold stretch here, what, what are you seeing from him? As far as chances, uh, uh, are, they, are they declining significantly? No, them? chances are still there, and that's the positive. Uh, again, even the other night, you, can, you know he's kind of battling it. He makes the play. He's got the puck in the slot right down the grade A area, hits a knob. Uh, he gets the back door look on a pass from Kaner on the power play, hits the knob. He, those are both goals with a little more luck. So as long as he keeps getting those looks, it's a positive. I know it's a small thing, but he got on the score sheet, um, which is a positive for him. But um, I, I'd like this game, last game out, um, I, I, you know, a goal scorer like that, if he keeps getting his looks, it'll come around. Hopefully it comes around sooner or later. When you're watching Simon in, in these like must-win playoff-like games compared to when he was up last year, are they more telling, more revealing yeah. in some ways for, for a rookie like him? Absolutely. There's more to it. There's more intensity to it. There's more pressure to it. Uh, obviously, with Wallman out, he's in a top four role. Uh, so this this is this is a positive. He performed very well the other day. Now we'll look for some consistency in that performance. It was a couple of weeks ago when we talked about the prospect of the playoffs. You said, I don't know if we're going to make it or not, but we're going to have fun trying. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of fun in this stretch right now, but how much can having fun loosen guys up and yeah, I don't, help propel? I don't know if not a lot of fun. I just, a, little, a lot of pressure. I just, I think the fun is coming to the rink with an opportunity. Here we are with a handful of games. We haven't been in this situation in almost seven, eight years. So that's the fun part of it. You're in it. You're in the battle. Um, your scoreboard watching a little bit. It's the reality of it. It's just being in a playoff race. It's just, it's going to grow our guys. Um, so, this is uh, this is exciting and this is good, um, and this is what you play for these moments. We since I've been here, we put everything into being in this position, and now we're here. You're a goalie, but can you imagine being the goalie playing for Patrick Waugh? <laughs> uh, I think it's a positive. I know it's crazy because uh, he is the legend of legends in that position, but I, I think. It's, I feel it's given me a little bit of an advantage. I don't know if you talked to Patrick, but understanding the position a little bit, like even dictating practice, uh, something as simple as the first drill, guys just not coming down, bar down from three feet in, like just having an understanding from that where other guys are like, it's the goalie, screw them. 
that's that's probably 29 of the 31 NHL head coaches in the league. Uh, so um, to stop the puck mentality. So I think I think there's probably some advantage. Um, you know, having played the position. What do you see about what he kind of? Do you see much change to them since he's kind of come to that team? A little more aggressive on the forecheck for sure. A little different look in the uh, D zone. It's just he's done a good job. It's tough to implement in this time of year. And, and I know the Islanders just have an organization for a lot. They don't practice a ton. I think they really value energy. You know, they're, they're, they're one of those teams around the league. They just don't practice a lot because they value energy. We're the opposite. You know, we want to practice as much as possible. We're still trying to grow this. So I just think it's, it's taken a little bit of time to grow up, but of course, like you can see his imprint in it, you can see his intensity in it. Um, um, we're I, I love being in a type of game like this this time of year. We've talked about the practice before with you, but you just mentioned organizationally. I'm curious from your conversations with Steve or anything like that when he talks about is it something where that's something that comes from Steve? Is it something that you? Uh, no, I think we're it's or we, we're trying to grow. Yeah. yeah. And you, I mean, we we talked about last year. In in some ways, last year, practice reps were really important for some of our youth. And you can watch all the video you can, you, you can, but you gotta you gotta muscle memory and rep it. So I no, I don't. I think that's my view. That's an organizational view. It's where we're at. Um, when we were in Tampa chasing Stanley Cups, we didn't practice a ton. We we literally. We erred on the other side. Right now, we're we're as an organization. We need it, and I would love to get a situation with this team where uh, we need rest over reps. But that's that's not where we're at. Is there a tricky balance coming? Always tricky, yeah, of course. Coming week or with, with the, every other day a game. And stuff? It's I. It's a huge balance. Like we play so well against Buffalo, we literally limped them to six chances. There's no doubt in my mind. A very hard and intense practice in Vegas, and a very hard and intense practice the day before Buffalo with D zone reps, muscle memory arrivals. I thought it helped us immensely. Back to back the next night, we're wondering where our energy levels is. You know, is that my fault? Maybe. That's the balance you're talking about. Everyone's like, what happened in 24 hours? Well, we played a three and four with two city travel. Uh, so, of course, there's a balance in that, but I just think where we're at as a group right now, we need to err on practice. Yesterday was a tough. W we needed some reps, and we went and got them. And um, I tried to give some guys some maintenance days, and they refused to take it. So I think there's a little culture thing to it also. Do you think there's kind of this, this is conducive to Simon being able like the guy, the guy comes in, a young guy, and it's – if a team's not practicing or whatever, I can assume it might be a little bit harder for a young guy to step in and feel like part of the group. Like, do you think it kind of makes it a little bit more conducive to Chris Simon to come in and play the role he's playing right now? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I think any rep, I mean, he's still green and raw. Uh, Grand Rapids, Dan Watson did a great job with him. He was ready. Uh, I wouldn't say over ready, but he was close. Uh, so I think he's in a good spot. But he's everything we can give him is, is growth. Um, Post practice video with Bob Bugner, reps, uh, you know, going from the other night to tonight, different look tonight. Uh, the Islanders are way more heavy than what we faced the other day. They have an identity of some good ozone time with the puck. They get to the net. This will be a different challenge for them. Coach, you talked about uh, scoreboard watching. Well, tonight you don't have the scoreboard watch, right? Because you guys are both battling for that playoff position. Is, is there a different type of intensity when you know that what's happening on, yeah. on the ice? Is, it's, is it? it's still of our side. I mean, we had the question the other day with um, Washington on this great run. The bottom line is Washington's winning hockey games. When we went 16-4, and four, when we won six in a row, we were winning hockey games, put us in a good spot. The Islanders put themselves in a great spot by winning five straight. That was When we played them here, that was a locked-in, dialed team. We didn't give us anything. So... It's, it's still about the team that takes care of their own business, and that's what we're trying to do. Um, and, you know, obviously we've won two of our last three with an opportunity tonight.